these guys. He's escaping, so we had to rig this. I can't open the door. That one has a lock, but that one don't. Pain in the ass, but we'll meet them in a minute. They came in yesterday, and they were in one of these rooms with the owners, and they heard all the dogs and everything, and they just started fighting. So they're going to need some work. Here's one. Samson. How oh, nice you gonna miss. Bent. Oh my god. Off. Nope. Oh, you're fucking bleeding. Why are you bleeding? Escape artist. He got out and started running around the hallway, so they had to tie the door shut. Nope. Dude, oh my god, you twins. Right there. Nope. Major polar. Once he feels tension, he just wants to pull, pull, pull. So if I keep it a little looser, he's a little better. But 
he's pretty he gets pretty excited by you know, things, people or dogs or whatever. Yeah, and he's strong. So once he feels tension, he's just gonna keep pulling. Yep. See, he wants what he wants. All right, we're gonna switch this. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get my footing here, dude. Wait. different. Good. Good. Nope. Little correction. Here. Good. Teach me the command. Right there. Here. Good. Stop. Sit. Good boy. Here. Right there. Good. Here. Good. No correction. Good. Here. Nope. Right there. Here. He immediately he's got a mind of his own. He's getting distracted by the smell of things, and I'm telling him, "Nope, I want you paying attention to me, not everything else." Here, good. Nope. Good boy. Here, good. Stop. Sit. Good boy. Nope, stay. Uh, which one are you? Rocky? Samson? Rocky? Yeah, you're not responding. <laughs> uh, they look alike, so it's hard to tell. But I think I think you got your brother in the lip. That's what I think. Yeah. Nope. Right there. Here. Good. Here. So if he doesn't respond to the vocal, he gets a correction. Here. Good. So now he's starting to... Oh. Starting to pay attention to what I'm doing now, see? Good. Stop. Good. Sit. Sit your butt. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, here. Nope. Nope. Here. Here. Good. Good boy. Here. Yeah, let it out. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Good. Here. Excellent. Stop. Sit. Good. I think you're picking up the pattern, huh? Alright. Here. Here. Nope. Here. Here. Good. Nope. Here. Leave it. He's very distracted by all the noises. Which, you know, he... Nope. 
He wants to know what they are yet. So, here. Good. No, nope, this side. Good boy. Stop. What's next? Sit your butt. Good. See all this <coughs> irritation on his nose. It's all red right there. A little patch that's like rug burn, worn out. Let me see the other side. Other side's a little. Yep, same thing. That's from the gentle leader. Nope, leave it. Nope. Because here, he had that on, but he pulled anyway. Here. And his brother's ten times worse. Here. Gentle, my ass. Stop. Now you can see how little I have to correct him. Here. So basically, it's just a thing hanging on his neck. Here. Good. Here. Good boy. Stop. Sit. Nope. Sit your butt. Good. Good. Here. Here. Good boy. Inside. Good. Stop. Good. Sit. Good boy. Same, but this is a different dog. Right there. Nope. Oh yeah, same thing. Any tension? He's just a pulling. See, I'm trying to go backwards. He's trying to go forward. Here. Nope. Big old flat buckle collar. Yeah. All right. Yep. Stay. He's doing that himself, you know. He'll get to the end of it. 
He put his own amount of tension on there as much as he wanted to, and then he stopped. Takes a little bit more than his brother. Here. Good. Nope. Here. Here. Now look at his nose. That's all from the gentle leader. All that fur worn out, the rug burn he's got going on there. That's from the gentle leader. He's got a his ear infection. Nope. Nope. No. All set? Here? Nope. Here? Nope. Here? He's a little, a little more stubborn than his brother. Nope. Here? Not giving me much focus. Here? Good. Nope. Here. Right there. Here. Here. Good. Nope. Here. Good. Here. Here. Good. No correction that time. Good. Here. Minor. Much better healing. Not a lot of focus still though. Hey. Keep. Oh. No. Sit. Good. Let me see. Blood's coming from now. But that's right. Oh, right there. You got a bit lip. That's what you got. Good. Here. Good. Nope. Good. Here. Good boy. Nope. Now I'm gonna go get Alex. Here. Start jumping on me. Good boy. Here. Getting that focus. See it? Good. Here. Here. Good. Here. Come on. Good boy. Here. Good. 
Yes. Here. Yes, good boy. You're a, here. There we go. Here. See the ears going back more? It was all because of that one little correction. Nope. Here. Here. Good. Here. Stop. Good. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Here. Good. Here. Good. Good. Is it clear to bring Charlie in? Good. Nope, stay. <laughs> yeah, you're clear for Charlie. Good boy. That's an ins oh, yeah. Lovely. Stop. Nope. Nope. That's not fear, what he was showing. I'll show you again. He's excited. He's happy. It wasn't fear he was showing. It was submission. You know, he gets all excited and happy. really windy so I'm probably gonna get a lot of noise in the uh, microphone from the wind. This is Rocky and Samson. They had been separated for a while and now they're back together. Ooh, here comes the wind. Okay so I was just saying I get a little bit more information on them. They uh their folks were um evicted and they had no place to go so they sent him to a friend's to stay with a friend who uh, apparently wasn't really taking care of him and just kind of keeping him in a bathroom and be, you know being separated from their people thrown into a bathroom with only each other to deal with and you could see neither one of them are really submissive to each other they're not dominant it's just neither one of them gives in to the other one so whenever there's an altercation, they would just kind of go at it. And then they took him back. They were staying in a hotel. The hotel wouldn't let him go in the room, so they were staying in the car. And that isn't really ideal, so we took him in here. As soon as they got in a meet and greet room here, they started fighting with each other because of all the noise and excitement from the dogs. It was 
they're, they're both pretty anxious. The one with the blue collar, Rocky, he's more anxious. He's got, you know, like separation anxiety, kennel stress, happy tail, wax his tail against the wall, it bleeds. Try to keep him calm. So here, any kind of excitement, you know, one would correct the other one. If say a dog was walking by out there, one of them would correct the other one if they got all excited and then they would just go at it. And so far, I, you know, as from the other videos, well, it'll be in the same video, but previously, I worked on each of them separately. I worked on one out here while the other one was in there and then vice versa so they could watch. And I let them know that I'm taking over. I took over and now if they get too excited, I'll vibrate him and I'll say, hey, and I'll stop. So now that somebody else is in control, they don't have to worry about, you know, submitting to the other one or because they just do it to me. So when they go back home with their actual people who are, you know, that's, that's the whole plan is they're going to go back to their home, hopefully in about two weeks, they're scheduled to move into a new place in about two weeks and then uh, their new, you know, well not their new people, but their people will have to learn to uh, be able to handle them, so, you know. So if they get too excited and you need them to calm down, you just tell them, hey, and they'll calm down and they'll stop. Yeah, and they're much better on leash. That's definitely been a plus. That'll be a plus for them because they couldn't walk them both together. You know, one person couldn't walk them together. They'd have to take them separately and now they could both go together because they walk a lot nicer. They were pullers and, you know, barking at dogs or whatever passing by. I'm sure that wind is making all kinds of noise in the microphone. Come oh, on, buddy. Set. Ah, ah, ah. Set. Good. Good boy. Sit. No. Sit. Sit. Good boy. I mean, other than that, they're pretty mellow. They're kind of, you know, they like to explore and check things out. They're just kind of walk around together. They're a little excited. Sometimes they go a little overboard, but they listen. Mary's going out with the dogs. So let's see how that goes. If she passes by here. So they do get alert, you know. Um, they definitely were much more alert when they came here. And, you know, it's like they know there's all these dogs here. They just, you know, it's been a little over a week now. So they're getting used to it. They're calming down in the kennel. Past weekend was their first weekend. Their first weekend without me here, so they were a little crazy Monday morning. And start over again with no, that is unacceptable. You know, bounce around your cats, barking all the time, driving everyone else crazy. Those tarps before were freak them out, you know, all the blowing around and all the noises. So they're used to it now. It's been a week and they're, they're settled in and they're getting used to the place and they're used to the other dogs, so they're not as alert and freaked out and scared as they were at first. Yeah, but this is pretty much it and then they'll get a little burst of play. It gets too excited sometimes, you know, if one injures the other, the other one might snap back, but 
You just gotta stay on them, that's all. The original plan was to put them together, in a room together. But obviously when they got here and they started fighting, that wasn't gonna work out. It's possible that that could still happen because they're not reactive to the sounds of the other dogs at this point. But then you're not here, you know, at night. You don't know what's going on and you don't want to come in and find a, you know, a bloodbath. So we'll just keep them separate until they can get back in the swing of things. But at least when they go home, the mailman comes or whatever causes excitement or maybe the neighbors have dogs, who knows, you know. It's controllable. I mean, personally, if it <clears throat> if it was up to me and I didn't have a completely full kennel at this point, I'd be able to spend more time with them. I'd put, you know, both of them on e-collars and do work with them and send them home, you know, with the e-collars. Tell the people what they need to do and probably do that for three or four weeks. I think that would cover it. Because they're very submissive, they listen well to me, they're a little bit, you know, aloof, but they do listen. I'm still having trouble remembering their damn names, though I get them mixed up all the time. Uh, Rocky! Rocky! Good. Set. Nope. No, come. Sit. Good boy. I bought pretty much both of them because I'll switch the collar back and forth when they're in the kennel. But I pretty much got him down to where I, I was using uh, low voltage for a while. Sometimes though, it'll pee on the electrical outlet. Not a good idea. Sometimes, uh, you know, when he was in the kennel, I'd have to actually dial it up a little bit. And then it's getting to the point where I'll just walk up to him, I'll stick my hand out, tell him down, and I'll just vibrate. And now both of them are almost to the point where if I just walk up to their kennel, stick my hand out, tell them down, they will. I mean, if there's a high level of excitement from other dogs in there, it's a little harder, but for the most part. Hi, Samson, sit. Nope. Come. Sit. No. Hey. Sit. Good boy. I have no jealous issues really, which is good. We don't really knock each other out of the way for attention. Yeah, boogies, come here. Ugh. Puppies, come. This has been good for them. This is what they needed, you know. Here we go, watch. Red collar can get a little annoying, and he can get a little when he goes over the top like that. Kind of takes a bit of a bit of a bite sometimes. And they get noisy too. And it appears to be over, burst over. Back to smelling stuff. He's a stalker.
both so gangly. Lanky. No. Uh -huh. 